Welcome to chapter 18. In this chapter, we're going to talk about special effects, filter effects, and black and white. And we're going to talk about them in different ways than we've talked about in the previous lessons. So go ahead and select this black and white photo here. Right click and let's open it in the editor. Go ahead and deselect these two parts. Make the original active. Turn on the visibility. Okay. Now, in Photoshop Elements, there are many ways to do many things. And one method may be better than another method, or which one you ever prefer. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. That's what makes it great. But to convert an image to black and white, there are four different ways that can be done. The first is the most popular one, Enhance, Adjust Color, Control-Shift-U. Why I say it's popular? Because the shortcut, Control-Shift-U. If you want to desaturate a photo the quickest way, Control-Shift-U. Now, what will that do for your photo? It'll look like this. I don't know if that's good for you, but it doesn't look that good for me. So maybe there's another method. There is. You can do a hue saturation and just take out the saturation. Okay, that's another way of doing it. Let me close the adjustment. Let me delete it. Okay, now let's compare the two. You know what? There's no difference, is there? They're the same thing. You see that? Well, let's see if there's another way. The most popular way in Photoshop Elements would be this method. Go to Enhance. Excuse me, turn on the let me select this one. Use Enhance, Convert Black to White. Shortcut Alt Control B or Control Alt D. Convert to Black and White. When you do that, you get this image. Now that's nice. Okay. You still see some detail. Nothing's really clipped out. But if you wanted to verify it, remember you can go to Windows Histogram, and you can see there's going to be some clipping over here and then over here. But it, it looks great. Okay. So let me close that. And one of the other methods that I like to do is I like to go to Enhance, Adjust Color, and then go to Adjust Color Curves, play around with the um, sliders here until I get what I want, and then I will go to Enhance, Convert Black to White. And when you do that, you'll see that it gets a lot more darker around the edges here, and you can see the difference. Which one's better? It's up to you. Now, just because you have four black and white photos doesn't mean you're done. You could even have a little bit more fun. You could take the original photo, press Control J to duplicate it, take this original, bring it to the top, change the blend mode to multiply. Now look what happens. Nice. That's a nice image. Okay, let's press undo. If you wanted to, you could apply a photo filter at this point. So you'll go to adjustments, photo filter, and you can use the warming filter and then increase the density. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Change it if you want it to like an emerald. Okay, and then you can use a mask and, and hide certain areas or make other areas um, more pronounced. Okay, let me delete that. Another way you can do it is go to Enhance, go to Adjust Color, Color Variations. And what you can do is select Shadows, and let's say Increase Red in the Shadows maybe three, and then select highlights, and we'll increase the blue by pressing it three times. And you can adjust the color intensity, so if you want less or more, press OK, and you can get this kind of weird looking image. And then if you wanted to, you can go a step further, maybe, and maybe um, change the blend mode to multiply, or another popular one, screen, or another popular one, soft light, which is nice. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about the filter gallery.